Well, 3.21, I think they're calling it. I'll be honest, I've been a long time critic. Not because I dislike it, because I really do. I'm really into the project. It's a vision. And, you know, I, I was part of the Kickstarter. At that time, we did Elite Dangerous, and we did Star Citizen at the same time. And over the years, I've dropped in, given it, like, a good couple of hours on every version they've made, major version, anyway. Um, and it's been through some hard times. But it looks like they've uh, actually pulled it off. I mean, it's weird. It's like the Ingoodening, the year of the Ingoodening where Cyberpunk got good, No Man's Sky got good, and now even Star Citizen's getting good. I mean, I was as suspicious as you guys, but, I mean, the results speak for themselves. I mean, I've, I've upgraded my system in the 10 years since uh, twice. I've upgraded my system twice in the last 10 years, so things run better by virtue of the fact that Gaming PC is a much higher spec now, but it's beautiful. It really is beautiful, and it always was beautiful, but it just struggled from, like, stuttering, and it, it does kind of occasionally, but I'm running this on a very low bandwidth connection, so I'm not expecting things to be perfect, but like I said, I'm... In these clips, I'm just taking off and landing, just flying around a few places. Um, I have an exploration-type medium ship. It's only small in Star Citizen terms, but it's got everything on there that I want. Um, and it's a multi-crew ship as well, which is nice. So if I want to play with friends, I've got a lot of options. And like I said, in this, I just wanted to see what works. So I started my journey in Area 18, left, went to Lawville, realized I didn't even have a spacesuit. I'm not sure if we're at that point yet, so I don't want to get ahead of myself, but uh, here we are, just flying around. Uh, traveling is super fast now. Like, you can see the occasional stutter there, but that was it. There wasn't, like, massive loading screens or... Travel actually feels faster now, too, which is nice. So, sometimes I just want to go and see what the world looks like. It was difficult to find my landing pad. I don't know why, but when I was... Sometimes when you land, it doesn't always highlight. So you have to look for, like, the open door and hope that you're not trespassing. So I got lucky and I managed to find this one. Um, but yeah, overall, everything's working, which is crazy. Um, and so we're going to go through a couple of clips and just have a look at, you know, what's going on. If you've got yourself a ship, you can fly around the system and check out all the planets and the moons and the space stations. There's even a few jump gates which don't work yet, but you can see how they're going to have star systems soon. So, I was really interested to see how they'd upgraded the city. Like, I think this is Lawville, and it's a lot different than it used to be. It used to be smaller, but now there's more structure around the city. So, also these, like, cloud effects, they look really good most of the time. It does feel like you're flying through clouds and then up into the space. And so here, I think I decided to come back to Area 18 because I realized I didn't actually have any sp a spacesuit. I was just wearing some, like, civilian outfit. So when I initially left, I thought it was in my ship, but it wasn't. Everything was back on Area 18. So I had to come back here, literally, just to swap my clothes. So, um, yeah. There was a few things I needed to figure out there because they changed the inventory a couple times by the looks of it. It looks a bit like um, Tarkov now, a little bit. Like the old uh, grid system where things take up slot sizes and whatnot. But yeah, the city looks amazing when you come here to this planet. And the clouds look really cool as well. 
when you it's a little they're a little bit low to the ground though if I would say but I think that might be the intention because I think these this world is supposed to be like really big skyscrapers I hear I think it's the same planet at night but it wasn't really like you can see I'm flying I wanted to fly through this hole in the clouds and it kind of let me It does get a bit fuzzy sometimes, but I think it's because they're actually simulating all the particles in the cloud, like a particle cloud. So sometimes the clouds look a bit frazzly, um, but I'm sure they'll they'll soft blur them or something, because most of them look amazing. Uh, they don't. It doesn't look like it reacts to me, but um, you can certainly go through them and stuff, and they seem to. It looks really natural. And the sunsets and the sunrises always look really impressive too, which is nice. Like I say, all around the visuals just look great no matter where you are, what you're doing. Uh, where are we? I think we're flying around near Hurston at night. I think the sun's coming up in the distance and like I said the atmospherics are really cool. It does make visibility an absolute nightmare but I think you're supposed to use instruments when you're in combat so you know that's on you. But this is a really cool aesthetic. It almost looks like a like a movie. Like uh, Prometheus or something. It's getting there. Which is crazy. You know, if you just put the camera in a slightly different place. Yeah. It's looking really good. Ah, now this was a point where I started tripping. You can see my vision is starting to split colors. It's because I forgot to drink anything and I couldn't get to anywhere to drink anything. Didn't have any drinks in my ship, which is a big mistake. So I have to clone myself. I gotta clone myself a new body that isn't about to die. So that was the best solution I could come up with. I just flew to the nearest station and cloned myself. But um, it's always a good idea. Take some burritos and hot dogs and some water in your backpack. Like I said, learning new systems, they've actually put in eating and drinking and there are vendors. Uh, health items which you can carry there's a little if you do hurt yourself you've got like a med pen and then there's an oxy pen as well for oxygen i haven't had to use one of them yet oh wait let's talk about this so you can see my character is kind of struggling and it's because even in his spacesuit which has got a pretty good rating i'm in a really cold place um and so as a result i can only stand outside for a minute uh, so I came in here and waited, and uh, this vehicle is something that I got to go into the spaceship for hot and cold planets. So I thought, let's give this a go and see if this works. So we summoned the... the, the uh, I'm parked outside in the ship. The Ice World main city has got this uh, hangar. You can just park right outside and just drive things in, which is nice. But I like to test this kind of thing, because sometimes stuff breaks and then you're like, oh, I can't do that. And it's nice to know before you've got everyone in your ship. So yeah, we've uh, got ourselves on board this rover, Ursa rover. And we've driven out the door, there's the door ahead. I've cut some footage here just for the sake of time. Um, and yeah, we've got it on the ramp. It actually drove straight on, which is nice. And uh, and then I'm going to come out the back, close it, and then put the ramp up. And hopefully the entire ship won't ragdoll and explode. And I obviously know it won't, because, yeah. But yeah, it worked. Nothing went crazy. Um, and then I'm able to take my rover to any planet now, which is really cool. You can't put any cargo in there, though, which is a bit like... Uh, but there's other places you can put cargo, small boxes. Or you can just not take the rover if that's what you're doing. So yeah, the rover's in the Constellation. It sort of bumps a bit, like it's uh, one of those Mercedes SUVs. It's 
kind of bumping along there but it does stay in there it doesn't drop out or anything there was a period when that was a thing so that's nice like i said it's nice to see everything working but yeah the environmental simulation of the planet surfaces is really cool like there's a blizzard out there right now so we can't really go outside very cool i really like the sort of survival elements they've brought in with all the temperatures and everything else these like i said this sky is really pretty it you know it's getting really close to movie grade i think we're just flying over hurston i think this is hurston i just thought oh let's just have a little fly around sun's coming up and to be honest, like I said, I didn't play 320. I missed that one, but I played 319, 318. I can tend to take a quick look at things. And you've got to run it on an SSD and you want a nice graphics card. I'm running on an NVMe. Seems to work nicely. Um, you know, it is what it is. But basically, it's looking pretty good. Uh, I want to do a bit of exploration, I think. It's probably the one I, that's what I like to do. Get some boys and just fart around, see what's going on. Uh, but I've been told, before it cuts to something else I need to talk about, if you go to the jump gates, you can buy commodities and then sell them at the nearest main planet for a decent amount. I haven't tried it yet, though. And here we are. We've landed on Aberdeen. I think this is Aberdeen. I got shot the shit out of when I tried to land. For some reason, I was trespassing. I don't know how that happened. But basically, I got missiles shot, and they nearly killed me. But I got away. I just wanted to drive around. I was like, ah, I want to drive my buggy. So here we are. We're on Aberdeen, driving around. And uh, normally, I'd only be able to survive for like a minute and nine seconds, because I think it's really cold here. Yeah. Or is it really hot here? I forget which it is, but whatever the case, it's uh, not a place you want to be outside for long. I have since bought, like, a heavy armor, which apparently gives you more survivability. It's not unlimited, you know. So, but yeah, this is all really cool. Like, the, the planets are way more detailed than they used to be. It doesn't feel, like, repetitive or anything. It does feel like I'm kind of on, like, a Prometheus-style alien-inspired looks like one of them worlds from from like a sci-fi movie so that's cool that's pretty much all all you want it's pretty sick actually the it just like i said it's just been getting better and better they've actually fixed loads of the bugs they've announced a shitload of new features uh it's the first time i've actually we were genu I was genuinely impressed with that keynote they did this year uh maybe maybe I mean, a lot of people are like, oh, yeah, wait for it, 20, 2043. <laughs> yeah, but whatever, you know. It looks pretty good right now. Haven't had anything crazy happen. So I think we're pretty much just going to dock it up now, and, and that'll be the end of it. But yeah, nothing like, oh, my God, guys, top ten. That's not what I was here to do. I just thought... Hey, check it out. Star Citizen's actually, like, worth playing. Like, it used to be a buggy mess. Like, I'm not trying to be tight on the game. It's just that there was a lot of stuff that broke, and they'd fix things and break other things, and, you know, got a lot of criticism, and people just didn't really want to play it. But now, it's actually looking pretty sweet. And it just keeps getting better, too, so... And the plans they've got for it really cool, like base building, that looked pretty cool. You know, I'm being so careful to try and get it straight. That was the hardest thing, was getting the thing straight on the ramp. Let's see, so we open it, step outside, immediately the temperature look. It's like, oh my god. Well, it's not too bad, actually. Maybe I'm thinking of a different planet. But yeah, so what I want to do is I want to visit all of these different planets and moons, just have a little look around, show what's going on. The atmospherics are great. The, the, weather, the weather simulation is really amazing. Um, I want to have a little go at uh, running some trade, doing some trade runs from the gates to the cities, like I said. 
Uh, might be some easy credits to make, I don't know. Uh, but coming from a, you know, like most people, a big background in a lot of space games, I just want to see what it can offer, and yeah. Visually, 10 out of 10. Um, but now we're starting to get some, like, cool gameplay options. I know there's going to be fans who are like, oh, it's always been great, and yeah, sure, but it's like, I want to give it a thumbs up. So, that's pretty much it, boys. Thanks for watching this unlisted video, I believe. See you later.